Hi guys, I'm getting started on a new painting and I wanted to chat with you about the project. Um, what I'm thinking, where I'm kind of going with it and uh, let you guys follow along on the process. So the new painting that I'm starting is for Trinity Sunday. The church that I go to incorporates an art piece into their services every week, which if you're an artist is awesome because you get that little visual learning touch as well. Um, I get to participate in producing some of the artwork that they show for the different church seasons. And this week I am doing Trinity Sunday. Um, in order to kind of get going the process and the way it started, first I started with this post-it note that was given to me by my friend at church to kind of spark some ideas, some keywords and things like that for, you know, Holy Spirit, Father, Son, things like that. And the next step that I did, did a little bit of searching for Trinity symbols and came across the Celtic Trinity knot, which this is a bad representation of that, forgive me. But this is basically what the Trinity knot is, this three triangular looking piece in the circle. And with that, I kind of saw, which you may be able to see my notes here, um, this triangular piece as a dove, the circle as the crown of thorns, and a light kind of emanating from behind as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, some other resources, and I can't remember exactly where I found it, noted that popular colors were white and gold for the Trinity Sunday. So with that idea kind of sparked, I started with a sketch. The first sketch that I did was this. Um, but I wasn't totally pleased with it. The dove is so too realistic, and I know it's not realistic, so that sounds kind of funny, but I wasn't wanting it to be so literal, but I do want it to be recognizable. So uh, with a suggestion from my husband, I changed my idea a little and went with more of a line drawing of a dove. Um, I think I'll probably alter, like turn the orientation just slightly or something to kind of really get that triangular shape. But this is kind of the idea that I'm going for then with the little bit more abstract dove, the thorn of crowns and the light emanating from the outside. The next step that I did in this process was choosing the colors that I want to use on my painting, which is always a very fun part. <laughs> and I, Put little color swatches onto my sketchbook so I can set it next to me while I'm working on the painting and see what the colors actually look like. Now it's, oh, maybe you can tell, but this is mother of pearl, a gold, and there's like some gold flecks here that you would need a um something, some sort of medium, medium to put it in. But this here is aquamarine, and this is our color that we use in every single one of our paintings at the church. So the resident artists there have agreed to use this particular color in every single piece. So this is really great and it will work really well um, for what I'm going to do. So the next step is to get painting. Okay, what you just saw was night one on the painting. Not a lot um, was accomplished from your point of view and what you saw, there's a lot of colors there, but um, it went quickly and you can't really see much now. But what I have after the first night looks like this today as it's dried. And this is just the background layer basically. And that's kind of how I like to work I start laying out the paint and just kind of pushing my shapes around, I guess, and creating the spaces and kind of laying it out before I really get into more layers, more colors, or more detail. But what you see here is the aquamarine that we use in every one of our paintings in the church calendar paintings. And I've started the light here in the background with a gold, which is really reflective and so fun in person. I have actually two different golds in there right now. Um, 
I don't think you can tell that yet. The Dove I have laid out in Mother of Pearl, which I'm surprised, I think you can actually see. And just a slight bit of gold. But as I said, this is just the background color. I've just kind of captured, I mean the background layer, I've just captured kind of the movement a little bit and where I want everything to be. Now the next step is to get painting on the next layers. painting is complete. It only took two days, which is pretty good. Um, basically what I did was just layer on top of layer on top of layer around the outside of the painting with the white mother of pearl and gold. And with the crown of thorns, I wanted some texture. So I added this flexible modeling paste, which you can mix with your paint to give it a little bit of thickness. And let's see if you can see that here. So here's what it looks like completed. You can kind of see, hmm, this part is textured. So I went around this way with the white mother of pearl and gold and I didn't like how blue it was, so I kind of toned it down in that way um, after I added the texture and little bits of blue here in the crown and in the dove. Then I went with some brighter yellow out this direction to really accentuate the light emanating from behind and then a few strokes of white. And then that's it. It is complete. I think you really need to see it in person because there are so many layers. That's what my work is all about. It's layers on layers on layers. And you can't really totally appreciate it from the video like you can in real life, but I'm pleased with how this turned out. The first thing I do after completing a painting is set it up on an easel facing outward so that every time I walk by I can stare at it and judge myself for how terrible of a job I've done <laughs> or decide that I really like it and that it's complete. But once I'm done painting, once I think I'm done painting at night, I usually give it another day to kind of sit, uh, just be out and about where I'll pass by and just check it out a couple times to see if I notice anything. And um, if it's good to go, then it's done. And if not, I'll add to it. This time, it was good. Mm -hmm. 